Here's how to create an AI social media post generator using Bubble in less than 10 minutes. Uh, so this is a completely no code app that we're making. And uh, I've got some simple elements on the page. I've got myself a title. I've got a drop down to select different social media um, platforms. I've then got a text input for uh, a topic, uh, a submit button, and somewhere I'm going to display the output. So we need to dive right into the Bubble API connector in order to establish that connection with OpenAI as we'll be using the OpenAI ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo um, API as our means of generating text. So to do that, I need to go into uh, plugins um, and I'm going to add in a new plugin. This was from a previous tutorial, but I'm gonna go over every step right here. Uh, so I'm gonna say OpenAI version two. Um, and then uh, I'm going to add in an API call just here. And I shall say, uh, generate uh, social media posts. I'm gonna change this to action so that I can access this in a workflow, um, as a workflow action. Uh, and then I'm gonna change this to post. And basically I need to translate the example that OpenAI give us here in the uh, chat completion documentation, and I need to translate that into Bubble. Uh, so the end point I can see is here. So I'm gonna copy that, paste into that. Uh, I can then see that there's a couple of shared headers. Um, and so one of those is to say uh, content type application JSON. Uh, and then the other one is authorization. And so I'm going to put that as private key in header. And so Bubble automatically populates the name as authorization for us. Uh, and then I need to go into my OpenAI account and generate a new secret key. And I'll be deleting this after this demo. Copy and uh, paste into there. Uh, make sure you notice that you have to write bearer and space before the key. So we write that in there. Uh, I can leave development key empty as yes, I'm gonna use it in both the dev version and the live version of my app. Um, and uh, right, then I need to start writing the expression, the body content, uh, which I can see uh, here. So I'm gonna copy this part and paste it in. So the model, that's the model that, uh, you know, the, the type of, of um, AI text generation that I want to use. So I'm gonna use 3.5 Turbo, so that's the quickest and um, one of the cheapest. Uh, you could of course use GPT-4 um, now because GPT-4 is now more publicly available to everyone. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna separate out uh, these two so that it's really clear. We basically have got two messages loaded in here, we've got one for system and one for user. And so the system message is basically a way to set the occupation or to, to kind of define to the, the AI how they should behave. So in this case, we're gonna say you are a social media copy writer. Uh, and then the user, this is where we're going to dynamically insert uh, the parts of the form that the user fills out. So if I go back to my design, I'm not offering the opportunity for the user to engage in this in like a full chat experience. I'm providing a form and using a form uh, with ChatGPT with the open AI API to generate social media content. Um, so I have uh, a topic field and I have a social media platform field. So uh, go back into plugins, I'm going to start to write out my prompt. And so I'm going to say, write five social media posts for, and then I'm going to insert a dynamic value so that I can insert content into this. I'm going to call this social media platform um, about the topic, and then I'm going to uh, insert topic. Um, make the posts highly engaging. Okay, I'm going to untick private on each of these so that they are fields that I could fill in in the workflow. Um, 
and uh, I need to initialize the call and that's just a good way of checking to see if I've made any mistakes in how I formatted the JSON here. Um, so I'm going to test this. I'm going to just write Facebook in here and I'm going to say bubble. Bubble no code in fact. Uh, right, let's initialize the call. So we're waiting on OpenAI to return a response. Hey guys, if you're finding these YouTube tutorials helpful, we invite you to explore even more content on our website at planetnocode.com. We have a large selection and variety of super in-depth and detailed video lessons there, created and curated just for our paying members. It's all about learning together and accelerating your no-code journey. Check us out at www.planetnocode.com and let's continue building without limits. Here we go, and I can go into raw data and, right, so this is the content that's been returned. Now, for some reason, and I've done this, um, well, I'm working on side projects to do a social media post as well, but for some reason, OpenAI loves to put emojis in social media posts. Uh, but yeah, you can see that it's worked, so I'm gonna click save. Then, let's go back over to design, because now we need to wire up our form so that we can create our chat GPT form. Um, so, on submit, we're going to create an action, uh, and this is going to be uh, my API call here, OpenAI version 2 generates social media posts. And then I'm going to link these up to my uh, drop down, which is drop down A, which is my social media platforms, and then uh, my topic field. Just a quick note notice that these fields, if I go back to plugin and I say that they're private. I'm not gonna have access to those fields. That's what it means by private. The data is not being passed uh, into the front end across the user, okay? Uh, so I have to make them public. I'm just checking they're still there. Uh, right, now I need a way of displaying the content and I'm going to do that with uh, a custom state. So you can create a custom state and a custom state is a temporary store of data. Uh, it's temporary because if the page is refreshed, it gets lost, it isn't saved to the database. And you can create a custom state on any element on the page really. So it makes sense to do it somewhere logical, somewhere you're not gonna like lose it. Um, so I'll just create often my custom states on the page uh, itself, like the page body. And so I'll call this uh, AI response of type text. And then that allows me to, in my workflow, set state, choose my page, choose the custom state, and then insert the results of the OpenAI API call. And uh, that's gonna be choices, first item. The reason that choices is a list is because you can, with uh, different values in your OpenAI call, you can say return with more than one value, uh, more than one version, of a, a response, um, but we're just asking for one response. And so that one response is the first one, uh, then message content. Uh, then lastly, I just need to make my text area here uh, filled with the custom state. Uh, so find my custom state, API response. Right, uh, let's preview that. So let's try LinkedIn. Just out of interest, maybe it's gonna make them neater. Maybe there'll be less emojis, I don't know, for a more professional platform like LinkedIn. Let's see, uh, click Submit. We're waiting for o the OpenAI API to respond now. There we go. So there's still emojis, even if I've chosen LinkedIn. Um, but you can see that it's generated uh, some fairly decent social media posts about Bubble. Now, my prompt is very basic. I think you could get a lot more out of OpenAI with a better prompt, but I've just wanted to give you a quick demonstration here of how to create a form that inputs data into um, OpenAI and into a prompt that you've created. Now, before signing off, I'm gonna just point out one thing that could be very easy to trip up here, which is that what is entered into this free form field um, could create a JSON syntax error. Uh, what I mean by that is if a user enters particular punctuation, um, that's going to be put into my call without any protection, the technical term being escaping the punctuation. 
So that's something to look out for. It's not going to be a problem if your form uh, doesn't have any open-ended fields. If it's all drop down, so if it's all values that you're defining, you don't need to worry about it. Um, but yeah, that's just something I wanted to point out. If you've got any questions or any ideas of how you could use OpenAI with building a no-code app with Bubble, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you want to reach out to us, you could do so through the website. You can ask questions. We can set you up with a one-to-one -one session uh, with a Bubble coach like myself. Um, yeah, there we go. How to create a form that feeds data into ChatGPT slash OpenAI.